What are stem cells? Where do you find them? How do you extract them? What are they used for? I am here in Denmark to talk stem cells with Dr. Maiken Heurup Viborg at the University Hospital of the University of Southern Denmark in Esbjerg. Stem cells are among the regenerative therapies for Peyronie's disease and erectile dysfunction. They induce self-healing of the body. No medication involved, this is all natural. And this is what makes them so interesting for all kinds of applications, especially for Peyronie's disease and ED. My name is Stefan Bundrock. I'm a board-certified urologist and sexologist. So make sure to watch the whole interview. I will link it at the end. Stem cells are the basic stuff. They are cells which can become anything. They are the basic cell material you need when you want to make tissues and organs. So they can develop into all kinds of cell types. There are different types of stem cells. These are embryonic stem cells, fetal, infant, and adult stem cells. In this video, I'm only talking about adult stem cells. It is their task to maintain cell populations they help you to heal and they are also involved in aging. Normally, stem cells are at rest and they can stay so for long periods of time until they become activated by certain signals of the body. They will then start to divide in a process that is called asymmetric cell division. During this process, they develop into so-called progenitor cells. These are much more specific. Progenitor cells then develop into their target cells. Some of you may remember my video on penile fibrosis. I briefly mentioned stem cells as a possible treatment. Now you understand why. Stem cells have the capacity to heal scarring within the cavernous bodies of the penis. And this is why they are under investigation for the treatment of erectile dysfunction and Peyronie's disease. Harvesting stem cells involves a minor surgical procedure. I think that this is a catch with the method. Typical sites for harvesting are bone marrow and subcutaneous fat. For urologic purposes, fat is popular. It's taken from the belly after a small incision. So all of this involves anesthesia and increases the effort quite substantially, in my eyes. In an office setting, it is much easier to work with PRP, which requires blood only. PRP, platelet-rich plasma, is not the same as stem cells, but the principle is quite similar. So if you want to know more about this new kind of treatment, here's the link to the full interview. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.